Hey guys, how are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me today. So, one of my friends has asked me to make a video about how I would wear my makeup if I wanted it to last and be kind of sweat proof for a really summer's hot day. Now, in London, we've been going through a bit of a heat wave. It's been like 30 degrees Celsius, which I know is not that hot in other parts of the world, but for London, it's seriously like baking. Um, it's really, really hot on the tube and just going into London and everything. So, um, it's a perfect opportunity to make this video. Now, it's, I think, the first time I've done this kind of thing so I'm not going to do my makeup and talk because I don't think I could do two things at once so this is going to be kind of like a voiceover but hopefully with practice I'll be able to do that at some point. I must quickly say that this is literally not a makeup tutorial of any kind, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not a professional, it's just an ordinary girl putting on her makeup how she would if she'd wanted it to last the whole day and be sweat proof. So if you'd like to see how I ended up with this face keep on watching! I've just moisturised my face with Una Brennan's Rose Hydrate Cream and I need some sunscreen today because it's really sunny so I'm going to use Clinique's Super City Block. This is 40 SPF. This is really great. I've been using this for years and um, you can see it's going on quite light and quite white but once you rub it in it kind of like meshes into the same kind of colour as my face. <laughs> It's super light, it's very sheer. You could just wear this on its own as a tinted moisturiser, but I'm gonna use it today as a primer underneath uh, my foundation, just to help my foundation stick to my face. I've been using the City Block for years. Where I work in the city, I'm quite exposed to smog and grease and general pollution, and it does protect me, so I absolutely love it. Also, it's great that it's a mineral sunscreen, so if you're allergic to chemical sunscreens, you might wanna check this out. Clinique make this in two SPFs, 40 and 25. For foundation, I'm gonna use Chanel Vitalimia Aqua, just giving it a quick shake because it's quite liquidy in the bottle. Going to apply this with my Sigma Kabuki brush, and I'm literally just gonna buff this in very thin layers onto my skin. Now, this is a gorgeous foundation. It's one of my top five. It's very skin perfecting, it's ultra light, it's very, very natural, especially like on days when it's super sunny and bright. Like bright light can be quite harsh on the face, so you wanna look very, very natural, and this is definitely the foundation to go for. I would say it's a semi matte finish so perfect for say normal to combination skins I'm slightly dry and can get away with it I feel like when I want my foundation to last a really long time if I apply it in thin layers and kind of sandwich it down and really buff it into the skin it lasts much much longer than if I just apply like one thick layer and for concealer I'm going to take Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer I love this concealer it's great for every day it's very creamy but light and it blends so so easily I'm just taking a Zoeva brush and tapping it in and just making sure it just completely kind of melts and mushes with my skin I'm just going to lock my foundation in with Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder using a Real Techniques brush just tapping underneath my eyes to lock away my concealer and down the t-zone just to ensure that my foundation is not going to move gently patting everywhere it's quite a nice soft feeling just locking all of that kind of liquid foundation into the skin and then onto brows, I'm using Soap and Glory's Brow Archery Pencil. This is double-ended, it's got a spoolie on one end and a very fine nibbed pencil on the other. Just combing my brows up so they're all going the right direction. And then taking the pencil just to give myself a bit more shape, bit more of a kind of arch. And then literally using feathery short strokes to create more kind of volume and make them look a bit more full. And I'm just combing through just to make the pencil look less harsh and now I'm just going to do the other side. And then to set my brows, I'm going to take L'Oreal's Brow Artist Plumper. This is basically like a mascara for the eyebrows. My eyebrow hairs are quite long and if it's windy or if I'm standing by a train and it goes past, like they come and flick up and like say hello. So I need to kind of set them down. And this also adds colour and makes them last longer. 
And now I'm going to pop a bit of NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base onto my eyelids. I do get quite greasy eyelids throughout the day, so if I apply any eyeshadow, whether it be powder or cream, I need to use this. It's excellent. It doesn't give me that kind of weird line um, where my eye creases, so it's fantastic. And then I'm going to take number seven's Stay Perfect Shade and Define Stick in Cool Mink. I basically use this like a cream eyeshadow. It's fantastic because once you put it on, it just kind of sets. It doesn't barge. It doesn't crease. And it's a great combination with the NARS Pro Prime. It never fails me. And it's just a really nice kind of subtle hint of colour. I'm just going to blend this in and just buff away any harsh edges. And then I've got another stick, which is the same, but in the shade Coffee Bead, and I'm just going to line my lash line. I need to do this basically because it adds definition to my eyes, and it makes me look way more awake. So I'm just doing that. Oh no, that's not a pretty face. I'm just doing the waterline. I'm going to do my other eye now. I must say these sticks are fantastic. They don't smudge, they don't budge, and they literally just stay put all day. Next up, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. This is a really old heated eyelash curler I got. I don't think they sell it anymore, but I don't think I could live without it, so I'm extra careful to look after them. And now I'm going to pop on some mascara, and today it's going to be Maybelline the Falsies, just rocking the wand at the roots of my lashes to make them look thicker and um, lengthening out my lashes. I love this mascara. It really does kind of open up my eyes and just coats each lash like beautifully. I've got the waterproof formula, which is what you're going to need if you want it to be kind of sweat proof. It won't kind of smudge or budge. It's really really good I'd always go for waterproof because I am a contact lens wearer and it can always get messy when I'm popping them in my eyeballs oh, I forgot to pop some eight hour cream on my lips earlier I should have done this when I put moisturizer on I'm gonna be wearing a matte lip later So I just need to make sure that my lips are kind of prepped so just dabbing a bit of this on and now I'm going to take a bit of Max Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer. My friend Dawn gave me this and I've not stopped using it ever since. It's really, really nice. Also, it's really pigmented so you don't need a lot. I'm just taking this on a Real Techniques blusher brush and just really kind of in reintroducing some colour to my face, making myself look a bit more sun-kissed. And then from my cheeks, I'm going to take this peach blush from Rimmel's Kate Moss palette. And I love this. It's so, so pretty, natural, and actually a really good colour payoff. Popping it on my cheeks. Oh, and a bit on my nose. And then for my lips, I'm going to pop on Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Lipstick in 4 Peach Club. I love this colour. It's a really bright, orange, happy kind of colour. It goes on so smoothly. So it goes on liquid and then it dries matte. And I would definitely say go for kind of a matte finish because that's what's going to last the longest on your lips. This always wears off into a really nice lip stain. And this colour is so summery. I'm going to set all my makeup down with Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is just fantastic. It really acts like kind of like a film, like cling film, gluing everything down to your face. And I just love spritzing. So relaxing. So that's the look, guys. This is my version of a long lasting sweat proof makeup that I can totally rely on to last me throughout the day. And I really must say, I love this lip. It's so gorgeous. It's so summery and bright and it just adds a bit of pop and color and life to my face. So absolutely love it. And um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like this kind of different kind of video. I might do a few more how I slap my makeup on videos. If anyone's interested, let me know. Leave me a comment down in the, um, what is it called? The comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Love you lots. Bye. <laughs>